This is the brake master cylinder out of that Dodge van that we're working on. I know I had said I wasn't going to deal with the brakes. Let the next owner deal with it because it's really going to need an entire brake system. And that still is my plan, but since the doghouse and radiator core are out for that water pump replacement, this has had, I had such easy access to this, I decided to pull it and open it up out of curiosity's sake. Now if we can get it to seal, that'd be great because then I can have a little bit of yard break while I move it around the property. But I don't really expect it to. So I'm going to take this to the wire wheel and clean it up and then we will get back to it. So this is what's referred to as a single pot master cylinder, meaning that it only has one reservoir. So this one reservoir with one piston in it does all four brakes on the vehicle. And this was really common, I believe 67 is when most automobiles went to the dual chamber master cylinder that we have today. So this one feeding all four brakes with a dual reservoir. You usually have a large reservoir up front and a smaller one in back, but I think in more recent years you're seeing the same reservoir size or in really modern equipment where it's just a single plastic reservoir but it's feeding both cylinders. But in all those instances there's two pistons inside here so one's feeding the rear brakes and usually it's the front one that does the rear brakes and the rear one does the front brakes. And with the exception of some oddball cars like Volvo, what they did is one reservoir did uh, the left front brake and the right rear brake and the other reservoir did the right front brake and left rear brake so they crisscrossed the patterns. So there's a few of those out there but that's not typical. So that's a more safer brake system because obviously with this kind of system you get one hydraulic leak anywhere in the system you essentially lose all the brakes. Typically it's not as catastrophic as it sounds because you don't just usually lose brakes all at once but you lose a lot of pressure and you kind of get a heads up it's time to get off the road because your brakes are about gone. Now in the old days you could do th one of three things when you had a failure. You could buy a newer rebuilt unit or buy a rebuild kit or buy a seal kit. They don't sell the seal kits anymore because I kind of looked for that for this one. And all the seal kit is is the rubber parts and there should be three in here. There's a lip seal in here, a cup seal in here, and kind of a fat o-ring up front. The rebuild kits come with the soft parts but they also come with a new piston, check valve, and spring. That's the piston right there. So I'm thinking this rear lip seal is probably what's damaged on this one. Because I was able to fill the thing up full of brake fluid and get brake, but it just leaked out the rear of the cylinder. Oh, that's funny. Everything came attached. Um, so that's the lip seal right there and you can see it's so compressed it's not doing its job anymore. That's the cup seal and it must be doing its job still because I was getting some brake when I pumped it. That's a little check valve and that's the spring and none of these parts actually stay together. It's just stuck here because it's gummed up. 
There's a little brass washer that goes between the piston and the cup seal. You can also see it's tinted from where it had rusted to the master cylinder because when I first started reworking on this thing again it was stuck big time. I kind of had to hammer on the pedal to get it to move and so it broke loose. So all there is is there's a rod that comes from the brake pedal assembly goes into the back of this and that's what operates the system. flashlight oh yeah Let's see if we can get that in the camera and that's supposed to be a machined smooth surface they do have hones you're supposed to hone it out when you rebuild them this is way beyond honing out. This thing's garbage. By all means, it shouldn't even have been building any pressure. So yeah, you would definitely not throw a kit in this thing. Okay, I grabbed my hone. It's not going to do any good on this thing, but I figured I'd show you what I was talking about in case you're not familiar with these. It's just a smaller version of a cylinder hone, and these are also used in um, your wheel cylinders. You rebuild your wheel cylinders the same way. Now it's not going to be aggressive enough to remove the scaling on the walls of this thing at best it's just going to take the high spots down again they're never supposed to look like that This is the backing plate that holds all those parts in. And this lip here is supposed to hold a bellows boot that seals the insides from the moving shaft that had either long since rotted away or the previous person that worked on it didn't bother to put it on, but that's probably how moisture was introduced because this sits really low in the van. So it was probably pretty easy for moisture to splash up in there. And even just regular atmospheric moisture to get in there when it was sitting. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> uh. That's the brake light switch runs off a hydraulic pressure also so when it shows line pressure it completes the circuit so the brake lights come on 
another pretty common switch found on older vehicles. This one here was so corroded though when I pulled on that wire instead of disconnecting from the prong it took the prong with it. Yeah, you can actually see a little metal in there but <laughs> when you're actually doing this proper if you see any pitting it's junk. Pitting that can't be removed by the hone and this thing's a massive pit. It's actually got craters in it. So that's the worst case example right there. It might help if I grab the right can. Most brake cups will have their size in them, like that. If you can see it, it's got a one in there, so this is a one inch, and that's a one inch bore. Yeah, this master cylinder's a fighter because I've had ones that look like they should work fine and they won't build up pressure. This thing here looks absolutely nasty, it has no business working at all. I was able to build brake pressure with it. One thing we didn't see is that big fat o-ring which should be at the very end of this. I may see remnants of it back there. I'm not sure. Could just be where the uh, end of the piston was sitting too. Where that chuck valve was sitting. I think I have seen these before where they didn't have that rubber o-ring in front. Normally you'll want to assemble your brake parts using brake fluid. but. I don't have any in here. I don't feel like going back out to the garage. And since this thing's junk, we're just going to use what I have on hand. So that goes in first. Check valve down. That's for the piston, right? Not the piston. That's for that cup seal.
Yeah, this still has some pliability to it, so that's why I'm still building up pressure. Somehow it's getting a good enough seal to do its job. But this uh, lip seal Um, it's just, it's all compressed in, so you can and it's it's still somewhat pliable, but it is harder. A lip seal is a one-way seal. It's kind of like an umbrella, it comes out like that, so it captures the fluid as it goes forward, kind of relaxes when it comes back, captures it going forward. So whenever you install a lip seal in anything, you make sure the lip is pointed towards fluid. You'll see a fair amount of these in the pistons that drive the clutch packs and automatic transmissions. Much thinner of course, but they are lip seals. Okay. A lot of people that have and drive classic cars do convert the brake systems to modern dual master cylinders. It's not, not the worst idea and it's not terribly hard to do. I don't worry too much about these types of systems though as long as they're kept in good working order they do they do perform they obviously have for many decades Well, it moves a lot freer. I'm not going to expect any miracles, but at the very least, maybe I can put a little fluid in it when I need to move it around the property. Let's see if uh, any of this work slowed it down any. It was a pretty quick, it was a pretty fast leak. Okay, we're done in here. So next time we're together, we will be reinstalling it in the van.